I'm just going to state it here now from bringing in people just to make sure we have a better composition. Maybe I'll forget about rank priority for them because they're actually helping the raid go a bit smoother. Because it's hard to explain rules to someone who's been invited within the past five minutes. Alright, let's make sure we're getting our full rebuffs up. If anyone has any bright dream shards, do trade in them. I have small dream shards to exchange. Lack of warlock today made it so I couldn't do my hydro visit. Jordan, there's his friend I have who really wants to join the raid. Can we invite him, please? He hasn't done the gear check. He hasn't got the things we need. He doesn't know how to follow instructions. But can we invite him? Um... Oh, that's a fucking difficult one, mate. No. You're so corrupt. The GMs are here, by the way. Also, we have a reward today for whoever has zero deaths by the end of the raid. It'll be rolled out. So try and do your best to not die. Very advantageous. If you let me die, healers, I'll take you all down. <laughs> <laughs> Snowball's locked and loaded. Thank you for that. All right, as I, I specified, we were enforcing the fun Warner add-on, so we're going to do a check for it now. If you haven't got it, this is where you get kicked. Sorry, thanks for coming. Goodbye, Raven War. Uh, and no, I literally have it enabled. Um, send me a screenshot and I'll invite you back, buddy. Oh, okay. I also was relogging, so might have been why you checked. Fail. I have a green little um, thingy in the middle of my screen. Post in the U raid discussion. Okay. And um, when this next guy gets back here, we can just pull it. And but we want to make sure we have a nice smooth raid today so everyone use your consumables, at least the green shard elixir, at least the fucking brilliant wizard oil, you know. Make this stuff more simple. Yes, buff from Druid. This is if if yes it's not active. We will have it active in a second. As I said, yeah. start, I need the good green shards for it. I mean we just traded. Type slash ctw to deserve the people. And if you need a mount, make it known to me now. Otherwise, you aren't getting one. Let's start throwing out our marks. All tanks should have the ability to mark these up. We're going to go low and slow for a second, figure out what's going on. May just make sure you're using um, the text magic so we know what's going on. And then we will call out a kill order, so don't blast initially. We need to get Skull the fuck away. We're going for um, Frost first, everybody. It's Shadow and Frost Reflect. We don't know what's going on with Green Triangle right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's posted in the U discussion. They don't know what the triangle is. No. We'll go for the Mark one then, because it's mending. And I'll invite you. Okay, I'm sure. Send me a list, but I can't work out Um, Triangles reflect. Oh, we'll go for Triangle next. Your boomkin, Drawer. We brought you here for the Druid Grip. By the way, if you're a beat bean right now, you should press slash CTW. You don't need it online anymore. Well, you just play with some. <laughs> Wait, you kicked Raven War all the way back to storm. That's fun. That's it. That's the downside of tapping out to post a screenshot. I like that idea someone had of just sharing your screen. That's fine. I told him to post a screenshot. Um, three people with Bartek go out. I'm just going to say I should and Kika. You're in the same group, so. Yeah, someone can pull this, Hunter. Big game. Our one Hunter who's not here at the moment. Let's take the four now. Back into the other room. Yeah, let's get them picked up and pull them. We'll be fine about pulling people. Get back, people. Everyone, we're back in this previous room, please. Thorns and triangle. Um, I think we want to kill Skull first. It's got a reflection. Um, 
We'll go for Skull and Cross. Um, what the fuck is the triangle? The triangle is darts. And finally, yeah. So realistically, we want to go for Thorns after not back. So we're going for Cross, and then we're going for Triangle. And then melee, be careful on Blue Square. Square finally. Melee do what pay attention to your health, it's thunderclap, it spawns, it's basically all damage on you. Is it me to taunt by the way? Thank you. No one said they need a mount, which is always good. Uh oh. Forex did. Um yeah, I saw him in my chat. We all need a Ferrari. Cool. We're going to be killing this last Eradicator. Once the Eradicator is dead, everyone's going to be popping a great Eradicator and Protection Potion. We have assignments for the tanks, what side they go to, so tanks pay attention to that. Otherwise, if you're in an even number group, you go on the left. If you're in an odd number group, you go on the right. That's mainly for casters and healers, just spread things out a little bit. We'll be looking to pull pretty soon after this is dead, by the way, so pop your potion, 10 second pull timer, off we go. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Are you so eager to die? I will be happy to I'll be locking the SR sheet now. You die. I remember we killed the splits before we killed the real guy, and we need to CC Strutter because he is mind control. Fucking someone CC him before he kills me. Alright, kill the splits again, people. The real one is in the middle, marked with blue spot. Perfect. And now we just kill the big guy with the blue square, the triangle above his head, square above his head. Yep, on the left side. Like... I see too many melee DPS attacking the cross instead of the actual main one. Uh, the other one's just the spawn when you kill the real guy. Cool, no SR, so just give us some main spec rolls. Alrighty, and the highest roll is 4x with a 51. Okay, never mind, Hakuna with a hundred. And if this is your main spec, give us some rolls. We can pull this one. Congrats to Valorant. We're taking your spell wrap today, so you aren't going to get any AP items. No, you can't change your SR, the sheet's been fucking locked. That's why the sheet gets locked, people can't your change it. Abandon you. What a stupid question to ask, honestly. Yeah, but my SR didn't drop, so I would like to change it to a different <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, the only thing I need for normal spec is my SR anyway, so I don't need any other. Yeah, but your SI is above the thing anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Warriors have just left, or is that the other Warriors? You have shot with me? Yeah. You have courage. They're coming back now, I think. Yeah. Spread the damage, do not focus, Skull. Tab fucking target and go through all of them. We want them all to die at the exact same time. Right, you've popped one a bit early. Hey, we taunt. Good job. Leave. 
We go fresh, straight down, under the ledge, we all know this. If you're fighting the Guardians, you want to make sure you're in front of them under the ledge so you don't get knocked back around the room. Otherwise, stay the fuck away from the Guardians, CC Tekken. Rip Valoran. That's his doing. Job today. That was annoying. Who would have guessed Valoran died first? <laughs> you were bleed. No, it wasn't Man. actually. I seen I died on Scarron. Oh. At least there's being a guard anyway. Remember, make sure the guardians are between you and the doorway so you can't get knocked back into the room behind. Make sure we're CCing whoever gets mind controlled by these big guys. Uh, we got the boss. Yeah, just run out. Run out. Yeah, it'll reset. That's why we don't get nothing in the room, lads. You're hard. Imagine if my instructions had a specific purpose and reason. It's fucking possible. So what we should start do, lads, is disregarding everything the raid leader says and start doing our own thing instead. <laughs> Surely it's gonna go smoothly, right? Sorry, what'd you say, Jace? Oh. <laughs> CC Tekken, CC Hakuna Matada. Your friend with the Righty, I just need to quickly loot these bastards. Okay, man. We're killing Yarge last this week, so we put a blue square, that means we kill Kree first and we're killing them second. So, Yarge is the one that does the fear, so Kree is the one that does the poison. So, we need to make sure we have our tremor totems down at all times, or whichever one is the one that gets rid of the fear mechanic. And we also need to be on top of our poison defense totems for the first one that dies. We want Creed to die pretty much in the fucking corner of the room. We then want to pull Gouch and Vem all the way to the other side of the room so we don't get feared into the poison cloud that spawns on the ground when Cree dies. It's very straightforward for that one. We just want to make sure that Cree is dying far the fuck away from everybody else. And that we're poison cleansing until it's dead because that's the only time it matters. The tram totems need to always be in the middle of the group. Alright, pop a nature protection potion because it'll just help the first little bit of this fight. And off we fucking go. Death. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull Cree a lot further towards the wall, please. He's still too close to the middle of the room. Yep, deep into the corner. Is he out of loose? No. You went out of line of sight, your healers, Aaron. But that's fine, as long as he dies there, we're good. Perfect. And now we go to the complete other side of the room and we start fighting them over there, so thanks. Time to be very mobile. Remember, we're going for them next. When them dies, he enrages Yauch. And I believe he also we'll splits into the other bats. We'll fail. Oh, Yauch is on us, but... Ah, okay. But she will slap very hard. Move the fucking bosses to the other side of the room. You're so close to the poison. What are you doing? Oh, someone died to poison. <laughs> Just talk to them if you're a free tank. Drawad, don't stand there. If you get feared, you're going straight into the poison, mate.
This boss really hates that'd be, that'd be. me. Yep, that's perfect for them to die. One of the most annoying bosses to heal unless you've got Untrebber Totem, because, yeah. Uh, we need to kick the heals. Everyone stack up and replace totems further in the middle of the room, please. Yeah. It's not worth getting great heals, because it's getting fed all the time. Tekken, can you go and gouge and just make sure the interrupt is there? I did. I mean, we have like five minutes uh, fully capable. Cool. Now we just focus shouts down, everybody nuke it. Recommend letting this room pick up, unless you want to be dead. Yeah, taunt resist. It is what it is. All tanks, spam your taunts. If you were assigned on this boss fight at all, you should just be taunting and helping me out. No, let me have it. You taunt when it CCs. Lots of ads after this, so welcome. Yeah, and then we taunt out to pick up the ads, kill them dead. Perfect. Now, before we start resing people, I'm going to where the poison cloud was and seeing how many people died to it. Ah, yeah, that's a good one, two, three, four people in this corner already. This is why we're moving the boss people. We don't want people getting feared there. It's useless deaths because it's very avoidable. Otherwise, here's Your the loop. friends will abandon you. No SRs, shadow resistant tanks. Which there is none of here, so anyone building up a shadow resistance set, I know I won't is. Congrats, I won't. Finally, tried girdle, which is just seems pretty nice for stats for warriors. Roll on it if you want it. DPS is onslaught girdle, don't they? Yeah, cool. So tank priority, which means it's going to Zay. The warriors are approaching. Yeah. Do you have a AOE taunt? Any warrior? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Death is close. Yep, they come. That's a big pool, let's try and get the gun. Alright, make sure we're fucking getting these that guys down together then. Because people are going to end up leaving me in all that time. Yeah, engage brain, please do. Melee, if you get knocked away, you need to make sure that you are waiting for your bleeds to fall off before you run back in. Make sure you're at full health and you aren't taking any continual damage. You are already dead. That was pretty fucking good. Whoa, I didn't realize shield wall reduces fall damage. That's amazing. Aaron, we've been over this. It's physical. <laughs> we've been over this. Bob does the same. This is how no, you're talking about in one ear and out the other. You, you told me about the lip. That's what you told me about. I said it's That's physical, physical, of course. Be drinking, I'm pulling. Need to fix it. Your courage will fail. Because we have two paladin tanks, we can just stack these all together. The consecrate will help with the threat massively in both of them. And then we can actually only react to the second consecrate. May help prevent a couple of deaths. Pressing my sunder button because I want to be invited next week. You're right, that's yeah, just the shit you sunder. Alright, go for it. Play. People are dead, but they should just get res faster. There's so many people who can res, there's no excuse. We're all gonna be on this side now, isn't it? 
To be fair, Ragnarok died really far away compared to what No, that's fine. You can wait to get rest then. Alright, wait for that second Consecrate. And we can start our AOE. Joking. Aseni's pulled some. Aseni blink into the rest of the melee so it gets picked up. Ragnarok, we will rest you, don't worry. It's just going to have to wait until after this you current You will die. Like sharks get out again, big shot. I mean, if you're dying on every pack on these, maybe do something about it. We should have one pack left, right? Yeah. Should we're going to wait for people to get res first. Okay. We're waiting on Ragnarok. Blink. Perfect. Everyone look alive. Remember, you've lost Your your chance to win a little toy. It's not my fault. I was told to go in the corner. Second Consecrate Stam, AoE can begin. Remember when you're fighting these, you are just constantly backing up against the wall so that your character doesn't get knocked far away at all. This is one of the instances where melee being in front is probably advisable. <clears throat> and oh, warriors can better. go into defensive stance you to reduce fall damage. You mean you guys don't just go to cat form? Everybody, we're mounting up. Every warrior, put on your higher armor equipment. It will be required to make sure that you survive throughout this. You're probably going to be taking a little bit of AoE damage. And just so it is very clear, we have lightning up on triangle. We have Zay on cross and we have Happy. Um, I can change Happy's name. That's meant to be... That's the previous week. I'm retarded. Brilliant. Um, Lightning Nuts on Triangle. We have Zayon Cross and we have Ragnarok on Skull. Then we have got Mithrun. Tekken and Funky starting off on Battle God Sartora. Remember, you need to pay attention to where you're standing here because if you die to getting whirlwinded, that's your own problem. You can run away from it. Tanks can also taunt. Tanks are going to be taunting pretty much on spam on these guys anyway. Yep. Other than myself, mana's looking good, so off we go. We need some paladin buffs sorted. There's quite a few. Oh, stop, hold, got. back, come back. What fucking paladins aren't buffing? Well, I need wisdom, Lake's asking for might and salve. Um, I know we died a few times, but yeah. He has salve, I can see it fucking on him. Okay. Yep. Spread them out. Tanks, make sure you're spamming your taunts on Sartora. We need to make sure we kill Skull first, everybody. Get away Remember? from the door. Yep. Use the full room, people. Get deep into the middle of the room. I sentence you to death. If a guard is running towards you, run away. We're still so close to the door, people. Deep into the middle of the room. Alright, we need stuns on Sotar. Perfect. And then we need taunt spam. Every warrior tank, just taunt it. Keep it rooted in place with your taunts. More taunts. And we need a stun now. We got a second stun. Perfect. And taunt spam begin. Next taunt. Next taunt. Just here on cooldown, people. Stunned. Yep. Stun. 
start taunt spamming now. Right, that's four more people who are disqualified from the competition. Congratulations. Ooh, fire mages, congrats. Any one at all? Alright. So Liana, are you wanting transmog? I said he's rolling with main spec. Okay. So Liana, trade it to a sunny. And the next item is fires SR, so it's going straight to them. Alright, let's all stack up ready for the gauntlet. We all want to be mounted up. We want Strutter to be taking the lead. If anyone fucks this up, you're probably going to die and you lose out on the competition. So we want to have a tight stacked group behind Strutter. I'll put a circle above myself. Everyone stack on circle. Strutter should be in front of us. But everyone else should be directly on circle. Stack on circle, not on star. Stack on circle, not on star. Freya, fire. Come backwards. You're stacking on the wrong guy. Alright, Funky, lead the charge. I've not started moving yet, people. Where are you going? Alright, we go now, then. I did forget the mount up, so... But... Yeah, we'll stop and do it normal way, Funky. I must have flicked the fucking stupid up here. Once. It's terrible. Exactly. So anyway, everyone we want to stay up with the front of the pack. I'll be at the back of the pack, so if you're behind circle, you're doing something wrong. Absolutely Raven War. <laughs> Where the fuck's Bartek back in that group? Been in that group since the beginning. Yeah, but Bartek's a pump, you give him the druid crit, right? Yeah, but he's like, been in this group no, since. I the moved beginning. him out of that group early on as well. Oh. So cool. I don't know who moved him back. Can I be moved to group seven so I get the Shadow Priest as well, please? His assistant just Thank you. Who's behind circle? Catch the fuck up! Come on, Slowpokes, you can go faster than this! Alright, everybody get into the safe spot. This boss fight is just going to be Funky and Mithrin communicating and dealing with the ones for themselves. Mithrin will be starting off. Everyone else is stacking on the ass. We stun the worms when they get into the cast, the group and melee group stacking on the ass. We have so many paladins, healer paladins, use your hammer of justices. It makes a lot of sense. And it should be a quick and easy boss fight. Now, mana is looking a little bit abysmal, so we're going to wait for people to get their mana back. And once I see the raid miner is looking a little bit better, we'll be running again. Alright, Mifrin, on your I'll charge. I'll try rage while we get the rest of the mana. We're good now, Mifrin. You can get your Yeah, okay, I'm getting some rage. Mounting up. We can just run straight in, it doesn't matter. Really like Over into the middle just a little bit more. Perfect, stop here. Everyone stack on the ass. Get on that ass, baby! Pump your damage now before a worm comes in. Because once the worm is here, you have to swap your focus, everybody. First worm coming from the front. 
Wait until it gets into our group before we stun it, please. I can take seven. Stun the worm. Perfect hammer of justice. And we can kill the boss again. Something. Next worm coming from the front again. We need a stun now. Stun that worm. Kill the worm. Next worm coming in from the front again. One more stun. Stun it. Any stuns? Okay. Good fucking loot. No SRs. Oh, hey. Did he not SR it this week? No. <laughs> Have we got like four in a row with us? I'm going to include the items that it's getting made into while I do the rolls for it. Everyone start putting on your nature resistance again. So if one of these items is for your main spec, give us a roll. Valorant's game crashed, we reckon it's Unacceptable. I don't think that staff's really an upgrade for a staff of Shadow Flame. I f it's a slight upgrade. Is oh, slight. Oh, yeah, fair. Yeah. Um, congratulations to Drowad. Yeah, congrats. It, if you're struggling on hit, that's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, yeah. I don't think the mages really struggle on hit, though, right? Yeah, they get talents and they get the idols with hit on them too. That's a big roll. Um, you're right, as long as you just um, poison cleanse, you're fine. 15, yeah, so you're basically capped, more or less. Very nice healer robe. Druid slash shaman's fair enough. Congratulations to Zaomara, whatever group we put them in. There we go. Group three. Cool. Everyone, you should have your weapon equipped and your nature resistant equipped. Once I get there, we're pulling it. So there is no excuses. Get your stuff on. We use Bar of Peasant Caller for Hoo Hoo Ran. Yep, this one's your cool proc daggers or whatever the fuck you're using. I recommend using a nature pot too. Protection. Nature pots help, but also we have two druids who can just poison cleanse we without go. doing nothing. Let's go. Remember, healers also put on a frost weapon. It just helps out. You aren't healing all the time. There's very little fucking raid wide damage, and we're negating it with our nature resistance anyway. But my healing passage. <laughs> two nine three dagger skill today. Do I hit hundred? We'll find three hundred. We'll find out. Two nine five. 297. We're getting there, boys. What? Who the fuck used their bar of caller now? We literally had someone ask about that. This thing's hard, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's probably that they had it macroed into their cooldown. And they just had it equipped. God. The most, the most generous explanation I can give. <laughs> Even when you use it, you use it at a certain time when you get told to use it. So just having it macroed in is not a good excuse to me. No. Right. Be careful if there's poison spawning. Get and make boss. sure we're cleansing this poison. Okay. Everyone just come in and hit it with your frost weapon if you've got one. It makes it go that little bit faster. The healing is not that intensive. What's my weapon skill at? Um, Alright, 297 this week. We'll get there next week, guys, I promise. We didn't quite get our fourth one in the row. <laughs> I've said what's considered main spec for the Hoping. That's the same way you see Paladin, Shaman, Mage, Warlock, or Druid in the future. Give us some rolls. I guess all Congratulations, I won't. I'm just giving it straight to you. No one's being your 100. Corruption. Remember, take off your frost resistance gear now, go back to your normal stuff. 
I see literally like two, three healers, two healers. Any more? Congrats, Lake Shark. Finally, bye. I don't know who the fuck wants this. Roll if you want it. Don't all roll at once, lads! <laughs> Take a top sticker because I don't have better. Yeah, go for it. Better than it going to the corpse. How many packs have you killed without us, Funky? Two. Okay, you go. Got this. No, I'm just faster there on the way away. Unless you're stuck in combat for 10 seconds. Yeah, he there fucking... That shit is so annoying. So annoying. Oh, Didn't you know you're AFK, buddy? Oh, that's bad, you're moving. He did say in chat, he gets the let off of it. Yeah, let's get over there with a drink before we uh, have a big clusterfuck here. I'll step back to taunt. Remember, please, for my sanity, don't kill them all in one massive stack. Let them spread out a little bit purple. Massive stack. <laughs> the most likely they are together, the more mad I'm going to be by the end of it. So maybe we, do have, we do have new people, right? So we single yeah. target the lasher until he's dead. And then we hear we for the fun times. And if we pull a second pack with another Lasher, we single target that Lasher and stop AoEing until the Lasher is dead. Stay back, we don't all drift forward because one person's moved. We're going to do a single line here that people can stay behind. And we're going to pull back behind this blue line just to make sure people are staying safe. If you see the wasps on our pile in, don't take them off him. It's better to keep us under control. Save him. Not even T could save me now. I'm sure one way could live this corridor. <laughs> no, I've just lost my chance to win my own mechanical yeti. <laughs> <laughs> Change the rules. You're allowed one death. <laughs> Actual corruption. But Elliot, I love your fucking revive message, but you used it on myself. Oh, this is so risky. Yeah, I don't see the problem. <laughs> Warriors, your job is the last. Right, and now we can kill the rest of these dead. Oh, I missed very far so badly. Oh yeah, it's great. So you be team. Aren't you an bubble. engineer? I don't have a bubble. Oh. God. I think that demo saved you. Yeah, I don't know if bubble me like that. You are a fucking angel. We have another lasher pipe coming in. The focus on that lasher before we start here. We. Start considering equipping your bar of peasant callers. But just consider it, you know, you don't have to fully commit yet. Oh, 
Alright, now fully commit and equip your bar of peasant caller. You've got until I've looted this chest in the back of the room to have it equipped and for me to get back before we pull. Alright, your time is ticking, people. We do a 15 second pull timer, that's about how long this journey is going to take. But if you're a caster, you're using your peasant caller at 40% health. If you're a melee, you use it at 30% health. And the main important thing to Five, know is you take a step four, back once you pop three, in melee. Two, that way the peasants are closer one. to the boss than you are. Let us commence. We are only poison cleansing the tanks. Tanks call out if you need to be cleansed, if no one has done it already. Need a trank shot here. Perfect. Get a cleanse on this one. There we go. A stump farm. Ah. Nice. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> it is his own responsibility. We haven't got a trank shot right now, so heavy heal Mithrin. And we're using our Peasant Caller casters. Melee Peasant Caller, one step Beware. back now. We Keep healing Mithrin after it goes, please. Yep, he will still be taking damage. Big heal, thank you. Alright, change off your Peasant Caller. Um, oh, I need to redo the druid buff. That's what oh well. about the gloves? <laughs> Ooh, the gloves that nobody wants. Not too bad for the rest of the shamans, actually. Fair enough. Oh, they MP5 be set does do a lot of work, to be fair. I'm wearing them now. Yep, we want to have two separate stacks now. We want a melee stack and a range stack. Range, if you see that the ability being used is um, Shadow Storm, you run the fuck into the boss. If you see a Thunderclap, you stay out. But it's so much easier to run in than it is to take a Thunderclap. Two seconds. Let's start getting ready to pull. So, Lix, are you comfortable pulling with your pet for us? Are you listening? Is a better question. Am I the only priest doing bus, by the way? Um, it was not pulling it. Yep. Let's figure out what's going on. Shadow and Frost reflect. Beware. Shadow Storm, everyone get in. Plague, Alurusius, get away from the group. Terror Stomper, okay. Does Plague killing people count? Yeah. That one didn't get called out. Bartek. All it takes is one wipe on Twin Imps and suddenly we don't have anyone eligible to win. Twins does count. Twins is an easy fight and you shouldn't be dying on it. Do you need to relog Tekken? Oh yeah, we're going to need you for Twin Imps. Do you want to wait until after these guys? Or it's up to you? I think he's putting a global comment, right? So it'll probably be AIDS. To swap mm. out. Should I pull skull? Yes. Just keep it 
plus. Stack tightly, people. Fire no cane reflect. Beware. Which house storm getting? If you're a caster and you take any damage at range, you run into the guy. Bartek, stay out of the group. Kaido, stay out of the group. Kaido, fucking move. Stop casting and get away. You're doing more damage than you're doing. Either. Throw ad. Yeah, you're good then. You don't need to go back to Who's Who's gonna die and lose their chance this time? No one. Perfect. The miracle. Grab skull this time, I think. Yep, it's coming straight for us. Two stacks again, please, people. Who is doing kings and wisdom? Wake up. Have you asked in party chat for it to be rebuffed? I don't see it. Not party, I did it in say. Use raid. All good. Play. Yep, let's go. Shadow and frost reflect. Beware. And it is thunderclap. Casters step a little bit further back. 4x is plagued. 4x run away from the fucking everyone, mate. Alostius, you're played. Yep. Ego was plagued. Fidelia, out. Stop healing, out. Hakuna Matata, out. Brilliant. That is a rough one. Ooh, Redeemed Prophecy Gloves for Paladins. Or Gloves. Anyone want them? People who actually have banner start resin, please. Valorim was rolling spell rep, and they are spell power gloves. <laughs> Fair enough. It's got rid of You lucky bastard. Reset bonus though. Yeah, but do you really wear all three pieces? Anyway, let's start moving forward to pull this next guy. Isn't the five set for Paladins like eighty spell power on tier two point five anyway? Yeah. All right, make sure we have two tightly stacked different groups. Casters be separated from the melee, shadow and frost reflect. And is it Shadowstorm or is it Sun? That Shadowstorm, get the fuck in. Plague on Aseni. Aseni, get out. Asandria. If you notice a new debuff, run away from me. Ika. What we like to see. Let's not move forward for the next one. Kicker, you stinker. <laughs> Don't say that to his face. Supposed to be his back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to stack here for the melee, and the caster's going to be stacking back here. Shadow and frost reflect, I believe. Yep. Look, fire knocking. Fire knocking. Beware. When the clap range, stay out. Leftovers, Quinston's relug. I've got a Titan's flask ready for you. Alrighty, who has not been here to Twin Emperors before? Who does not know what the fuck's going on? Just speak up, whisper me even. But like, I need to know this so I can effectively give the strategy we're doing. Uh, yeah, the hunter's... I never done this. Let me know. The hunter? Don't have your pet out. 
Yeah, it never Because if your pet stays in and goes on an Emperor, it'll be the closest thing to the target when it teleports. And then we have a massive headache on our hands because your pet's going to pull people for Emperor. Yeah. Where it shouldn't go. If it needs saying, also no multi shot here. Perfect. Yeah, don't do any AoEs of any kind. You can do a little bit on the right hand side, but like you really shouldn't. For all people then, do not be stacking near the Warlock or Shadow Priest tank in this situation. You want to make sure you give them free reign so they don't get hit by a falling blizzard. You want to make sure that you give the tanks time to pick up the target and you aren't over fretting. Melee you will hear at 5 seconds before teleport is potential. Melee out, this means you start running across the other side of the room. If you see any enraged scorpions, you are killing them dead. We don't want any of these adds to be getting on our casters or our healers because they will kill the people and that's just not a good time. When when it is melee out and melee and all that and melee shake it all about, you want to make sure that you let the tank be the closest thing to the boss. Whether this is the warlock tank being the closest thing to the melee boss when that's teleporting, or it is the melee tank being the closest thing to the um, warlock boss um, when that and cast boss when that's teleporting. Sorry, There's so can many you words. Can I? I, I gave you assistant. I don't know what to. Make sure you've unequipped your Bar of Peasant Caller at this point in time. It is no use on this fight. Do we have an alliance bank, please? Mm -hmm. And just for clarity, we have Mithrin on the left hand side with Bartek. The healers are signed to Fidelia, Gustadolf, and Ziomara. And on the right hand side, we have Lightning Up and Coincidence doing the tanking with Meme Chan, Rakaidos, and Fire as the assigned healers. And Aaron, you're the backup tank on the right hand side, you're hovering around that side of the room just to make sure shit doesn't go wrong, just in case lightning up dies, it's always good to just have the backup. Crypto fixed. Perfect. Then, I'm going to do one ready check. Do the melee feel comfortable? Click no if you need an extra explanation or something, I can happily repeat it, because I'd rather make sure we can get it right. And if I said something confusing, just question it now. Being on the ready check. Um, Mr. Lightning Up Tank, are you alright? Ready. You're ready? Perfect. Bartek. We need to make sure you get pre shielded, then you get to say your magic line. Okay, go on in. Oh my god, no. Lighten up, be in the middle of the room, ready to pick up, buddy. Over in the middle. Like Sharky used an enrage ability on pull, which is fucking trolling. You don't need the rage at pull time, buddy. You will not escape. Melee for this time, you just deal with the big enraged scarabs until it's in position and threat's good. Casters, you're on the same duty. We're just Ten. waiting for Bartek to get everything stabilized. Alright, we can pump casters. Three, it's not the perfect position, two, but Mifrin can fix that. Melee out. Get the scarabs around the melee boss. <clears throat> I have it. He's dead. Like dead. It took me away, sorry. Ten. Aaron, go back up. I'll try and battle resonate. Melee really out. Three. Yep, two, melee out. One. Make sure we are killing these enraged bugs, please, people. Alright, Bartek's got threat. Ten. Melee, get out. Three, two, one. Perfect coin, love to see it. I 
Am I doing that right, Quinn? Yeah, that's you perfect. weren't. Well, you were sort of doing it right. It was a little bit iffy at the final so. end. Ten. Okay. Yeah, you've got to be max melee range. I just took melee the wall. Out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Melee out. Three. Melee two, out. Come on. One. Kill this one on the way, melee. You can pad your damage. That's what you like doing. And look, someone's attacked one over there. Solix used a multi shot and pulled one. You need to make sure he kills it himself. Ten. Melee, get out. Three, two, one. Alarcius, you're a bit too close to Bartek there. You're baiting the, um, what's it called on top of him. There's a, yep. Ten. We commit. Right, melee Three, out. Two. Respect the mechanic. Casters can finish Get it if it's going to be dead. Beautiful. Holy shit, he did it. No! Let's go! Shadow great. Priest tank! Thanks for letting me No SRs. That was great. Boy, you wanted these wrists on your fucking warrior, man. I know, it's fine. <laughs> Feels so bad. It, I missed it, right? Yes. Two good pieces of loot from twins. <gasps> That's yeah, SR by Zay. Where the fuck is Zay? Group one. This one has no SR, so we'll start with the main select rolls then from healers. I ate the first Akin explosion, but then it worked. That was great. Alright, and these are going to Zayomara. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, that's Oh, you can fix the groups again on attack them, right? Perfect. Yes. And Bartek goes into the Boomkin group, he's an actual Chad. <laughs> so Lix, you get your pet out here, please. You're going to be helping us with pulling. Um, we'll have a target and you'll be pulling that. Um, Bunky, if you can mark one up and let us know it's a good time to pull, because I can't see it for right now. Yeah, right now, if you see. Not anymore. I'm just sure right now. Right now, it's good. It's still pack. Right, Sandra with an 88. Yeah, it's three slayers. Cool, stack the slayers together and we AoE and cleave them down. If there's multiple mind slayers, we pull them far the fuck away. Mammy Moo, you'll be following Mithrim for this one, you'll just be keeping Tremor Tome down. I got Mish done, doing it. Fair words for me. Oh, per he's here today? Nice. Yeah, just scroll down on the mute, man. <laughs> <laughs> no shadow weakness, you don't see him. Oh, Did we call for one hour buffs? No, but that's a very good shout, one hour buffs. Back is next. Yeah. Oh, that one there. Yeah. Well, our buffs weren't running out except priest buffs because I've been reapplying them constantly. <laughs> it's two and two, it has to be quick. We'll wait. Good pull, really good. Get ready. 
JK. Alright. I think okay. we're gonna do a little bit that packet if we can get it. No, you're right. Oh my god. Send your pet in that... on triangle. Send pet in on triangle. Yeah, I need to rest him. Sorry, I think that uh, put down the trap. I forgot I did. Oh. Sorry. I'm an idiot. Someone get an attack in so they I don't got, restart. Oh, beautiful. Imagine my I'd imagine if people could do that more often. It's a double Mind Slayer pack, so get these two Mind Slayers to Timbuktu, please, people. They're stuck channeling, I'll, I'll move it as soon as I can. Remember, you can bless them with freedom, I believe. Whoever's getting channeled on it tends to help out. Don't kill this Mind Slayer, it's too close to everyone. Don't kill Moon. Let me drag it away. Alrighty, people. I've got a Ferrari. That's close enough, we can kill it now. Yeah, I want doing, tanking. I should tanking, please heal me. Oh, I'm man burn. Someone get the Mind Slayer, Vortex. Get it out of the group. Okay. Congratulations to Regician with a 73. That little people need the red Ferrari at this point. We've been doing something right. <laughs> people might have been doing DPS instead of looking. Good. Yep. Fuck them. That should be useful. Alright, we can go into a tunnel to fight this next pack. Oh, it's a quad mind slayer. <laughs> quad mind slayer. We need to make sure we spread these out, get them behind line of sight if we can, but make sure you yourself as a tank are able to be healed. Oh, good. Yeah. Would it be quicker to just reset the run and get a better pack? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I agree. Um, what DPS for this one, melee DPS, you are rotating through the targets, getting them to 50% and leaving them. But pulling them now. Need a healer with me, triangle. Mm -hmm. Remember, spread these out. Use this full fucking tunnel. Why are you pulling them back up when we can pull it down? We have this one getting more. Banned. Don't kill Skull, it's in the middle of the fucking raid group. That's why we're pulling them away from everybody. So we can make sure everyone's here. We can kill Skull at this point. After that, we can start looking into Diamond, if we can get Diamond around the corner. Get Diamond around the corner, and we can look into killing it. Ah, it's channeling on fire. I hate these mobs. I fucking hate them. Yeah, I don't even get why people skip them. They're the best part of the race. <laughs> Tanks, you can also just remark stuff, like if you just want to be involved in the tanking, right? I don't care who's tanking what, apart from Mifrin's always on the champion. Is it an add-on that's bugging, that's unmarking them? Probably people with big wigs, right? Like... Yeah, I think it's when someone gets mind played, it changes to them. Yeah. Right. Probably. Sounds about right. Alrighty, let's look into pulling on next pack. This one is a two slayer, two mind slayer from what I can see from down here. So pull those two mind slayers off to the left and right, stack the slayers. Same old. These are very basic mobs. They're just frustrating. Remember, don't pull the Slayer into the fucking range route because they do a silence. You're going for blue square, everybody. Blue square because the unmarked one is not in a good position. Alright, kill blue square. Don't get feared. Go for unmarked. Melee, go on the champion.
Goofy, where does the soccer go? It goes in the square hole. <laughs> oh, that's something for and get ready to pull. What have we got? Two, the same pack pretty much we just fought, so let's do the exact same bullshit. Send a pet in or just someone fucking run up there on a mountain and get them before it gets too far away. There's an idol of the birth in the back. Thanks. Magician, use your mount. The red ones go faster. How far in the back? Uh, yeah, at the entr at the entrance. Uh, it's nine gold, not worth the run. Remember, get these mind slayers out of here, like we're moving as soon as we can. All melee for soft folks and on the champion. And we will kill Moon first, but we're gonna end up. No mind, stop attacking Moon, we're going for the unmarked one at the very top. Blue square, everyone on blue square. Blue Square's about to die. Make sure you don't get feared by it. After Blue Square's dead, go for Moon. And how's the champion? Is it dead? We can pull that one guy that we know is safe to pull. Ah, uh, we have pet. Ah, balls, two, two, okay. Two, two, two. Perfect, we're pulling them. Remember, pull it back, separate them, pull the Mind Slayers down the tunnel, pull them all the way deep down this tunnel. You don't pull the Slayers into the group. It silences. I'm telling you, people to make listen. When they get knocked up, there's a threat drop, right? And then all the casters are blasted. There's nothing you can do. Just a you can use a fat? No. Have you tried? Yeah. I don't believe you. And then if you're a tank as well, and you run in to get it, you get silence as well, so you can't talk. It's super fun. <laughs> as well, the Forsaken break the fear? Yeah. Maybe. We're killing Skull, then we're killing the mark. I don't just think so. Because you can't. Death wish it. Mark will run back to Zay in a second. Once it stops doing its bullshit. You can't interrupt this mind flame guessing? No. no. Pulling the nullifier. We are made to suffer. Pretty certain blessing of freedom would work to get rid of the effect. Not certain enough to get gold on it, right? But like, pretty certain. I think someone has cleansed me before, so there must be a way. I know it's not a magic. Or Tremor, maybe? I don't know. DI. Four Slayer pack coming up. We have a very happy Tekken. Are we doing this after we've done the little fires? Or the yeah, water? Yeah. Absolutely. So, for this one, we're all stacking up on Circle and finding the right spot for us to be standing. We're going to be pre casting. We all cast for zero. Five second time is going out now. And in five, four, four three, three, two, two one, one, zero. Make sure your abilities all hit at the same time. Nuke down skull, get skull dead. And there's silence. Nope, we interrupted it. Good job. Kill skull. Perfect people. And now we kill square. Beautiful, and then we pull this guy. Never mind, everyone focus on the skull, change target, change target. Hanks, can you pick up the nullifiers please? We have Mifrin on skull. I need someone to pick up this one in the back. Right, this one's misbehaving. Make sure you get your dots out. Get your dots out for the lads. Just misbehave and give him a spanking. Oh damn, another gloves. These shamans want these. More gloves. 
Is this the pack? Oh no, you were talking about the one after. The Force Layers. I am waiting too long for that. Whoops, sorry, I guess I didn't mean to send it out. Cool. Remember, pull these Mind Slayers apart. It's the exact same combination of packs we've been fighting this whole raid. It makes it very nice and very consistent. Now, don't pull the Mind Slayer towards the champion because that would be very dumb. We're going for Square as a caster. Melee, you're going on the champion. Get square dead, stop attacking the unmarked Mind Slayer. We aren't going to attack that until it's in position, away from everybody else. So, casters, focus on the champion, please. It's a negative bar. Stop damage, stop damage. Uh, just kill it, it's the last thing we can handle with it here. This little picky went. Casted Hammer of Justice. Why would he mind control the tank? Yeah, it's fun, right? <laughs> that must be very frustrating. Oh, yeah, mate. It fucks me off big time. Why? It's just like playing the game, right? <laughs> Alright, a four slayer pack. We're stacking these up. We're nuking them down. Are you eat them all to fuck? Leave them all down, tanks stack together, healers fucking pump your hardest. This is what you come here for, this is the little bit of fun you actually get to have. Skull dead, cross dies next. Never mind, two of March ones died because they were stacked better. Yep, and everyone now onto triangle. That's fucking perfect. Oh god, looting is not though. Well, good healing team, let's say that. Yeah, that's kind of the idea of why we want them stacked, right? So that when we get threat drops, like one of them at least picks them up with a pathetic crit. That's the idea. <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to be stacking up together. We're going to be pre-casting on this guy. We're doing a pull timer for seven seconds. Make sure you hit for zero. And then five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, one. zero. Hit it. The reason why I say free so loudly is because free is when I have to hit Starfire. The louder you say it, the more damage it does. Yep. It's like saying innovate JC right? Like, it just makes me more innovative. <laughs> you just have five charges of it. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> And he's got another red mount. Remember, guildies tend to get priority on it, but if you roll 6 9, you win. Oh, big 97 from Gust, 100 from <laughs> Ibot. <laughs> that's the second time I've been cut by a fucking. Oh, that's that rigged. Okay, okay, I get it on um... my shaman before I get it on my warrior. I see how it is. Oh, you can play when you win. I won't. Congratulations, you're getting it done. <laughs> You want to only sham, no, you worry. Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, full time at seven seconds. And in five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Make sure one. you're hitting it. Who the fuck, Terra Stomper? Don't be premature. Oh, shut up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your poor wife. This is great white raid wine damage later. Like we're doing pretty good. Anyone remember how I explained New Ori the first time? No, I've got the highest cool. numerical threat, mate. Pretty That's much, yeah. So we're having everyone stack together in the back of the boss basically. And then when we know where people are standing for threat, we'll send you out to the left and the right. Just so we can make sure that you don't get hit the rest of the blade raid with sandblast. So there's personal responsibility involved here. But remember, everyone is going to be stacking at the back of the raid on the same mark, basically. Anyone have a lucidity potion for Mithril? I have one. I do. I do. 
I'm drinking oranges. Everyone else should drink now. Once I get into the room, I'll start actually setting up the fight and then we just go. Do we get Hellstone from War uh, Warlock? You'd never get a Hellstone. You should be using tea. Okay. I'm saying that from a glass house where I've run out of teas this raid, so like, you, you should never stop? use a Hellstone. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I, I have decent you know, tea. That was just... <laughs> okay. Teas do better than health stones in all way. They shed a cooldown, but teas also give you mana back. I can say, you're as a shaman. Definitely use teas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have it. So, for this boss fight, we have Yacht. Lightning up on the left, Funky on the right. Aaron is just being a backup waiting with the melee group, and Mithrin mainly attacking the boss. Remember, tanks, pump your threat as hard as you fucking can. You need to be second, third, and fourth on the meter, basically all times because when Mithrin gets hit by a sandblast he goes to zero so you guys need to be ready to pick it up your threat does not reset on being swept out so once you've been sweeped out get the fuck back in as soon as you can do even for the sandblast and all the casters we're going to be stacking at the back of the boss on the screen circle when as we know where the threat table is we'll send people out to the left and the right to be getting ready for sandblast in case it hits a caster it's a very easy fight nowadays to be honest it's a lot more predictable so, there's no ready check, we're just going in, pull time of five, 6 seconds, and then we go. Five, Group 1 needs to mark four, the world, that three, Okay, two, we're pausing, one. because I'm bad at buffing. And let me mount back up, I'm stuck in combat for some reason, I blame Tekken. Alright, pulling three, two, two, one. one. go, go, go! Remember, stack on circle. Lighten Up's currently got main threat. Lighten Up be a little bit more to the side, so you're 90 degrees from each other as the tanks. Cool. Lighten Up, don't fucking come to the melee group. You were meant to be getting targeted for melee Sandblast, up. so that's why you're on the side. Melee, get out. It's on Regician. Regician, get the fuck away. All the mages are next on the list, so we should all yep. fuck off. Chronico, Sotra, Assembly, yeah, spread out away from people. All mages spreading out against the room. Sweeps hitting lightning up. Sandblast should be on Aseni. Right. Yep. Aseni, you're in the fucking caster group. What the fuck are you doing? I told you to move. Next one will be lighting up. Melee out. Yep. Lighting up's been swept out. Yeah. Sandblast going straight on to submerge Run early. Away, okay. Be aware Run of the away. popcorn effect. <laughs> We're going to start submerging back towards the middle of the room when it's about seven seconds left. Run away, right, start coming girl. towards the middle. Run away. We need to make sure we're picking up these ads and the AoE taunt will not Beware. go miss. Or he's also in the middle of the room, so get these ads picked up controlled. We need them all dead ASAP. Get a tank in on there, please, a as soon as we can. There's Strutter, yeah. perfect. These scarabs are pretty much all dead. Melee out. Yep. It's going to probably go on Bartek. I assume he's... Never cool, it'll be on Strutter Maybe or Mithrin. Mithrin is. Mm -hmm. Go away from the way. Melee out? Yep. This sandblast will hit my Melee out. Perfect. Um, Sotra, Bartek, Chronico, and I won't start spreading out. Get around the room, please. Your threat's just the next one's highest. Yeah, it'll be on Yep, Zinio, it's gonna be on you. Yeah. Nice, we're back to Mithrin, perfect. Melee out. Push, we have push. Yep, we're in the enrage stage, this is where you'd be Melee using the lucidity potion. If you're All dying, Terra Stomper spread out in the room. Yep. Need a tank in there, please. 
Next sandblast will be Bartek if it does one. There we are. Got an enchantment. If you don't need loot, you can release and teleport to Katun Room. Mm -hmm. Zaramara, congrats on your SR. Thanks. It does drop every week. Vivian Rain, congrats on yours. Same scenario. Ballerin, congrats on your SR. <laughs> and then, Guildy Enchanters. I think Buster and Fire are the only ones really here who are the Guild Enchanters. I've, I've already got sharp power, so yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations to Fidelio. You could roll, Giga. It's going to Fidelio. Congratulations, Fed. If this is your first time here, and you look at the map and see the raid running up to Cthulhu now, right? I've marked myself with a star, and I'm going to be running into the back wall. And if this is your first time here, that's how you cross the entryway, okay? Don't just run blindly. If you do not hug the left wall once you've gone up to Cthulhu's room, you will pull the boss. Don't do that. Yeah, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, just run up to Cthulhu and when you see the guy with the star on his head, like, just stop and observe. You'll understand. Your heart will Yeah, just take the wall against from Cthulhu. Don't run directly in front of the doorway. You're running on the wall opposite it. I have now posted the map of the room, so you'll notice that you're in a group, right? We have groups 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And there are numbers representing 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 8. That's where your group will be standing, spread out responsibly with each other. This is why we have the Kafum Warner add-on. So we are going to turn it on for everyone, because I don't see you check, and it turns it on for every single person in the raid. It will tell you if you're close to each other, as you will notice now. Make sure you're spreading out and not actually being in range of each other. I will designate the top 8 melee of this raid to be on the inner ring. This means you're smart enough to use your brains to spread out in the ring. So if you're in group 4, you don't have to stand near group 4's position. As long as you aren't chaining another melee, you could be near group 6 or 7, 5's position. It doesn't matter that much. You um, in terms of group 8 die. and group 7, you're mainly healers. So realistically, I should be it, swapping 5 with 8 in terms of groups, or five of seven, sorry, so... Oh yeah, I just realised, um, I had Alertius missed them about Shadow Priest, so you want to spread them out anyway. Yeah, one second. So there we are, we now have two different healer groups on opposite sides of the room, which should make it a little bit better for, for it spinning uh, around. Alertius and Mish them are still in the same group. <laughs> you are weak. I'm just making sure the healers are swapped, right? Like, that's what I'm trying to do. So, like, I can swap out Meme Chan for Alersius, I guess. Yeah, that works. Cool. I'm going to post this in EU raid discussion because we have two unverified members here. I did also post the link in the raid chats. If you paste that in your browser, you should see it. They won't because they haven't got access to the channel, right? So, that's why I've reposted mm. it in the EU raid discussion. No, the image is not anything to do with permissions are you sure yeah that's why you can go into a discord server and just take an image from there and post it in another server without downloading it oh yeah it's true it it uh it be able to see cool. well anyway i don't give a shit make sure you're spreading out within your groups <laughs> right like i just got a conceived the image so if you're in group eight on dark glare you're doing 180 degrees rotation around the room that means that once it starts happening, you don't have to worry about being sp spread away from each other. You're just going 180 degrees around the room. That's either clockwise or counterclockwise. Get into your next position as soon as you can. Once you're there, you can then start blasting the game. It's pretty fun, to be honest, if you can do it correctly. Make sure you're not running around like a headless fucking chicken. Once you've found a space, you stay in your space and don't move. If people start coming to chain you, call them out. Because if you're the one staying still, it's not your fault. Which makes sense, right? Anything Whoa. else yet? Yeah, on Tentacle Party, you'd kill the tentacles yeah, as soon as we can. When we get to phase two, we deal with that then and there.
but for now you just need to know stay alive in phase one that is the most important thing if you don't know what you're doing you're going to be going to the wall in the room just waiting to move when it's a tentacle when it's a dark lair now our top five melee dps for today we have Valorin, Freya, Ika, Kuna, Tekken, Bobster, Lake Sharky. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have one more spot. Rack, no rock it is. So these are the only people going on the inner ring. You guys need to make sure you're using this add-on to not chain each other. If everything is understood, click yes to the ready check. And if someone has any clips of you, you causing a chain to them, congratulations, you won't be coming next week. North on the map, is that entrance side or? Uh, we north are at the side. south. Okay. Is there any other questions? Because that was a good question. Like if you don't know, you ask the questions, right? Because then yeah. you don't just assume. Maybe can stack us too, right? Um, there's eight melee on the inner ring. You guys are not stacking us two. You're just having eight people designate going into the inner ring. Okay. So when is it that we must swap positions? When Dark Glare happens, his, he will turn bright red and he will okay. open up his eye and a big beam comes out of him. Yeah, you, you just you go know. directly or you go clockwise? To your... You will have to rotate around the room, right? Okay. Like It depends on the direction of the beam because it can go either way. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. And if the eye's looking at you, it's about to fire. Move that out of the way quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's your yeah. cue, right? When he says dark glare, you should be looking at the boss. And if the massive eye is looking at you, you need to get the fuck out of the way. Anyone else confused? Is Strata doing um, the port, by the way? Because I'll get ready to the bubble. Yeah, it looks like he is. Okay, I'll shield when you say we're good. Um... Viv, if you see names under the linking column, that means that people are too close to you. If you want to share your screen to ask that question so I have a visual thing to know what you're asking, go for it. Because I can't answer it without actually seeing it. Yeah, so all those names and linking means you're too close to them. It's like if you run all the way away from people right now, you'll see the names disappear. Yeah, you that just should be empty. will fail. Any melee whose name has not been mentioned, you are at the edge of the room, staring into the wall. The only thing you need to pay attention to is if the eye looks at you. And no wiggling your character to do, because it doesn't do extra damage, right? So, like, if you're in melee range, you just stand still and attack. If you're a caster, you don't move unless you're linking other people. There is a and little bit of a slight ranging. bug where you can, like, be saying it's not linking and you still actually have links one person. That won't kill anyone. But, like... If you're in the middle of a group of three people and it says you're linking three people, you're going to fucking kill someone. So don't. One person can get linked by mistake and it's fine. We don't care about those ones because sometimes the add-on does bugger. All right, we're going to go into six seconds pull timer. Five, Jordan, run into the back of the four, room out here. three, That's back of the room two, means you can go. heal yourself. One. Go, right. you can go, 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 go. Go, go, go. This is beam one. This is beam number two. Beams are now random. Good luck. Yeah. Remember, get the tentacles down when they spawn. I see Kika running around like a fucking idiot right now on the middle ring. What the fuck are you doing, mate? Find a position. If people need to move, people need to move. Can't box that type of shit, mate. Just sit in the fucking spot. And melee, make sure you're max ranging the boss. You're walking as far back as possible. I'm seeing people that are inside of him. Oryx, why are you running around? I see it on the map. Stop running around. Kill the tentacles. It's tentacle clock. It's dark there as well. And it's going clockwise around the room. I did just see a Seni die to it. Come on. You're a mage as well. You can literally blink out of the way. No excuse for that. Realize big wigs give me a kiss on the map, and I fucking love it. You have 10 seconds to be 180 degrees of where you started from. Paris, on for a bit more to the left, please. Five seconds. Thank you. No. 
his tentacle part to get these tentacles down, please, people. Stop running around, for sure. If you can't find a spot in the middle, you are not going in. Or XHW, go to a wall and fucking look at it. I see you double stacking with people. Get the fuck away from anybody. Thank you. Like Sharky, find a wall. Look at it. Alright, we have a dark glare coming in one second. He's opened up his eye. He's looking at group 7 position. Group 7 be paying attention. Get the tentacle party down. And which way is it going? This one is going counterclockwise. We can push the fun, by the way. Get to the north of the room when we do. Spread out loosely on the left and right side of the north of the room. We don't want to be too deep into the room. We want to be behind this little line that you see in the room. That way, when these things spawn, we have a good chance of not everyone getting knocked up by it. And we can kill the tentacles. There we are. Giant claw is up. If you get sent inside, you're killing one of the tentacles inside and getting the other one low. You do not kill it until you get told to push it dead. We're going to be choosing the perfect timing. The next thing that is going to spawn is a giant eye tentacle and small tentacle party again. We want to make sure we have a stun on the giant eye the second it is spawned and we need to kill it as fast as we can. Mages, once it, it's tentacle party, you blink deep into the room, you kill the tentacles in the back of the room and you have a good time. That's every other big claw that spawns. Here's the big eye tentacle now. We need a stun. Perfect stun. Need another stun. And you guys have done a good job with tentacle party. Perfect. First tentacle inside is almost dead. Start working on the second one. We will call out when to kill the second one. It's probably not going to be until after the next giant claw. Thank you, lads. Got more like that. This is going good so far. Asenia, you're not shit. You just need to pay a bit more attention. Alrighty, giant claw spawns right next to the fun. That means whoever was too close to the fun, you almost moved us by having it inside of his body. Pay attention to where you are. Be behind this line in the floor. And Mithrin, Asandri, Mithrin, get out. Asandro, try and pump on that second tentacle. Don't kill the second tentacle, though, if it gets slow. We have small eye spawning, giant eye spawning now. Rack and rock, you're too deep in the room. Okay. Yeah, it's on the left hand side. Need to make sure we get a stun out. There's a cheap. Okay. Perfect. Okay, and job. Yep, this is going great, guys. Perfect. Can we push inside? Have we got enough damage inside to push it? No, we've got one room. Hard to go, Dayton. Yeah, okay. stop. stop damage inside again. We have one more round of killing these big claws and tentacle party. Right, big floor is spawned in the back of the room on the stairs. Please try and not stop stand on the stairs and this will happen, but I understand. I will call out when to push. Just wait a second. Stop fucking damaging it though, guys. Why the fuck did you push it when I said I will call out when to push? You've just lost us damage. We aren't one facing you this time. Everyone pop your fucking cooldown zone, let's go. When it comes to doing that, because eventually, guys, some of you guys are interested in it. I mean, you're going to be judged on things like listening and not listening to simple instructions. The reason why I'm not saying to kill it early is so that we can potentially one face Giffen and not have to do this whole round again. Casters, you can wand the boss for mana during downtime. Alright, everyone back to the north of the room, spread out in the north of the room. There's a totem, I won't pull it. Hera, please pull your totems too, please. Can you get Can spawn there on them? Yep, I'll innovate you now. Thank you. Alright. Kill this giant claw, we will have a tentacle party and a giant eye spawning in 15 seconds. Rejection, you've been sent inside to try and nuke a tentacle, please. Four seconds, three seconds, two, one. Stuff spawning, be in the north of the room. Cool. On the left side. Made this blink and get these small eye tentacles down, please. 
Perfect. Wisdom's up on the wall. Kill that first tentacle inside, get the other one low, I will call out when to kill it. But realistically, as long as we deal with the next giant Ike that spawns, we'll be fine. Cool. Giant Claw spawned in the middle of the room. Mages, get these tentacles in the back of the room down, please. Last tentacles yeah, push aside. Push it. Kill it. Pushing. You've got 10 seconds. Oh, everyone kill the boss. It. Um... That was much better. People actually listened for when to push. And if we did that the first time, we could have one-shot this. Good job, people. Strutter, congratulations on your SR, buddy. Okay, and then... <laughs> I've fun, I'm pretty certain, is on rank priority, so let me Ooh, just Mark, nice. double check. I have Kafun it is. We'll probably start taking that off considering it drops every week. But who has the higher